today to talk to you about buying yarn, everyone's favorite thing, but more specifically about buying budget yarn and where we can do that online. Um, so I did a reel a couple of weeks ago that I also shared uh, here on YouTube, on YouTube Shorts, uh, about being a yarn snub um, in that I don't use acrylic yarn. Uh, and I got a lot of comments from people that were like, I would love to not use acrylic yarn, but um, non-acrylic yarns are too expensive or they're not accessible to me where I live or some combination of both. So I thought today I would talk about uh, my top five places for online yarn shopping for budget yarns. Uh, when I say budget, you know, I, I'm not going to ever try to make the claim that, you know, these wool yarns are as cheap as Red Heart Acrylic. Uh, they are not. But they are, in my opinion, very reasonably priced um, and better <laughs> than Red Heart Acrylic. Um, if you like Red Heart Acrylic, good for you. Um, personally, I think even within the realm of acrylic, there are better options than Red Heart, but it certainly is very cheap. So these yarn shopping places, um, three of which have their own yarn uh, that I'll be talking about, um, are going to give you options for buying um, yarn that's, you know, perhaps a step up from your local Joann's or Michael's, or maybe it's just my Joann's just has a really lousy yarn selection, um, but are not as fancy as, you know, indie dyed yarns. Um, so a lot of the yarns at these places, you know, it really depends on the weight and the fiber content, but a lot of these places are going to have, um, balls of yarn that are running between five and ten dollars each again depending on you know the yardage the weight and and the fiber content so we're going to talk about my top five places uh, for online shopping for budget yarns before i start no i haven't figured out the curtain bangs thing if you have a great <laughs> resource for styling curtain bangs Please leave it in the comments. Look, this side, fine, adorable. This side, what is happening? I don't know. I've tried. I, I am at a loss. <laughs> but let's get into um, our yarn buying experience for today. Um, so while I'm talking about these places, I'm going to try to include one of those little like pop-in videos where you can see um, some of the things that I am talking about. <laughs> um, so the number five place for online shopping for budget yarns is Little Knits. Um, so this website carries a lot of different brands, um, a lot of which are more of the economical brands, but it also um, has a lot of closeouts. So it gets discontinued yarns or overstock yarns and then is able to resell them to you at a lower price. So what kinds of brands are we talking about here? So they have so many different brands. There must be nearly a hundred brands listed here on their site, but some of the more economical uh, brands you're going to find here, Barocco Yarns, Cascade Yarns, Brown Sheep Yarns. I will say their website is not super easy to navigate. <laughs> um, something you just kind of have to put up with. So some other brands that are sort of on the um, lower cost end of things that they carry, uh, Ella Ray Yarns, um, Rowan, Regia, um, Schockenmeyer. <laughs> um, so I know that all of these are, uh, can have some lower priced, um, options. So let's take a look at, for example, what they're carrying from Barocco. For example, they also often have bags of yarn. So if you want, if you are a fan of Barocco socks, um, you could get five skeins of that uh, for $38. The price for a single skein is $8.50. That may be part of a sale. Like I said, they've got closeouts. So they don't consistently carry set brands all the time or set um, yarn lines all the time. That's why it's sort of number five on my list. Because if, you know, you want something very specific, they might have it, they might not. They might have it one time, they might not have it the next time. So it is not 
very reliable in that sense. But if they do have something you want, you're going to get a good deal on it. Um, so for example, that full bag that of the Barocco sock, you're, you're going to be getting those uh, each skein of the or Hank ball cake, whatever you want to call it, uh, for less than $8. Um, so they have lots of those full bags there. Then they also have, again, the individual skeins as well. So if that happens to be something you're looking for, you're really in luck there. You can get, I don't know much about Barocco sock. I assume, I should never assume though. So Barocco socks is 440 yards. So you're going to get a full pair of socks out of this for $8.50 if you buy um, the the single or if you buy a bag of them and they have some mystery bags where you're not all going to get the same color you're going to get a couple of different colorways a full pair of socks less than eight dollars um, so again they have lots of sales lots of closeouts and lots of special deals um, cascade i know cascade is another relatively reasonably priced yarn um, they've got let's see right now full bags which is five skeins of the cascade lana grande um, for $27. They've got um, a sports full bags of the Cascade Longwood Sports Stripe, which I guess is going to make you um, sport weight stripey socks. Full bags, five skeins, $27. So especially if you are looking to buy um, these kind of full bags, um, and get a discount, an even bigger discount that way, it's really gonna be a good deal. Um, Ultra Pima Fine, you know, sometimes it depends on the color, what the price is. So they've got Ultra Pima Fine, which is a, a cotton yarn that I've used before from Cascade that is nice. Um, they've got the Ember colorway for $4.90 a skein, but they've got the Pepper colorway, Pepper Green colorway for $3.50 a skein. So it's a, a lot of variation in the pricing, but it is all lots of good deals. If you really like uh, the 220 Superwash, full bags of that for $28.75. Um, so little nits, hit or miss, you know, just really depending on <laughs> the day of the week, the time of the day, you never know really what they're gonna have. So it's probably a good idea to subscribe to their newsletter to keep up to date with what they've got. Um, but they're really gonna give you, especially if you were looking to buy multiple um, skeins, multiple quantities, they're gonna give you, give you a really good deal on what they do have. All right, number four on my list. So before I get into this, two of these um, companies are, I am an affiliate of, but this is not a sponsored video in any way, shape or form. I, I'm an affiliate because I like their yarns, not the other way around. <laughs> Um, so number four on my list is Hobby. Um, that is H-O-B-B-I-I. -I. Um, and this is mostly their own yarn lines. They carry a couple of um, other brands. So other brands they carry are Friends, Mayflower, BC Garn, and a whole bunch of other uh, brands I've never actually heard of. Um, so they are a Danish, Norwegian, something like that company. So these may be um, yarn brands that are more popular over there. Um, why can I never remember where they are? So I have ordered from them several times. Again, I am an affiliate of Hobby Yarn, um, but I've ordered from them, yeah, Denmark. Denmark, um, several times, and the yarn gets here sometimes faster than yarn will get here from places in the U.S. So their shipping is really fast. Um, they don't have a wide variety of brands, but they do have a wide variety of yarns. Um, so if you were looking, you know, you, you do enjoy your acrylic yarns, they have plenty of those, but they also have some nice wool and wool blend yarns if you are ready to step away from the acrylic, try something new, um, and they are very reasonably priced. So their, for example, their Friends Wool, which is 100% wool, again, you're not, you're not, you don't know what kind of wool it is, you don't know where it's from, you don't, know if, if you're really super concerned about, um, read specific yarns or things like that, you're not going to get a lot of information here about that. Um, so it just says 100% wool. Don't know what kind. 
This is like a very basic workhorse worsted weight wool. Uh, I have not tried the Friends Highland wool, so I cannot vouch for whether it is soft or not. So $3.60 a ball for a 100 yards of 100% wool, whatever, you know, uh, whatever kind of wool it might be. It really doesn't say, but there are lots of reviews. There are 31 reviews of the wool on here. Um, they all have lots of very happy five stars. So, um, so that's a sort of basic workhorse worsted weight wool yarn. They've got some other nice ones. They've got extra fine merino. I have a ball of this here. I have not used it yet, but I can at least tell you that it feels nice and soft. Um, this is, I want to say a fingering, perhaps a sport weight yarn. It's a sport weight yarn. So this is 100% superwash merino wool. Um, I am, um, going to be using this for socks so I like I do like to have some super wash wool for socks um, since they need to be washed much more frequently uh, than things like sweaters this is um 180 yards for seven dollars and eighty cents a ball but as you order more quantities so if you order one seven dollars and eighty cents if you order five they're six dollars and fifty six cents each, and so on and so forth. Um, in addition to that, if you happen to use the shopping cashback site Rakuten, um, which um, this is not sponsored, it's just something I use. It's got a little uh, browser extension. It tells me if they're going to give me cash back for the site. I click it, then I shop, and then they just give me some cash back. So they have um, an additional cash back on the hobby site, 4% cash back right now. Their cash back can change. Um, but all you gotta do is just make sure you click the link before you shop and then you just get some extra money. So no big deal there. Uh, they have free shipping on orders over $100 and shipping starts at $4.99. Now, I am not sure what the shipping cost is from Denmark to the US because the yarn that I've gotten from them has been part of their affiliate program. Um, so I cannot vouch for that, but I can vouch for the fact that the shipping is very quick. Um, so they've got a lot of their own yarns. They carry a couple of other brands. They've got sock yarns. They've got all different weights. They've got all kinds of, um, if you like, um, holiday yarns. So if you, you really like to get, you know, Halloween colors and Christmas colors, they have a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, that I noticed, um, in the fall, they have all of these different like Halloween Halloween skeins, um, which are of course on big sale now because it's not Halloween anymore. So they've got like a Halloween sock wool, um, which is their own brand of 7525 Halloween colorways. So if you like that kind of stuff, this is going to be a, a nice place to get that um, when those holidays arise. I don't see anything for Easter. Um, who knows? Um, but they've got, they've also got some like novelty yarns. If you like tape and ribbon yarns, or you like, um, you know, other kind of, uh, textury yarns. They've got a bunch of those as well. Lots of different glitter yarns, lots of different kind of multicolored yarns. If that is your thing, um, they've got a, a kind of, um, a boucle, boucle yarn, a faux fur yarn, things like that. Um, and everything is really reasonably priced and you get a discount, you know, the more you buy, the, the deeper the discount is free shipping over $99. Um, and really, really fast delivery considering how far away it is coming from. So that is my number four site hobby. All right. My number three site is actually a, a local yarn shop. <laughs> okay. So they're actually a local yarn shop in South Elgin or Elgin. I'm not sure. Cause I don't live there, Illinois, but they have uh, a really nice online shopping setup and they carry a lot of different brands and <laughs> including some of these more economical uh, yarn brands. So they also have a lot of indie dyes. So maybe you, you really want like a one special skein of an indie dyed yarn, but you'd really like to get a sweater quantity of something more reasonably priced. You can do both of those things here. So this is Wool and Company. I've shopped from them many times. Um, some of the more economical brands they've got BC Garn, Barocco, Cascade. Um, I know they carry a bunch of the Sandus Garn yarns, which are um, 
fairly reasonably priced depending on their, their fiber blend. Um, they also have uh, Jameson's if you are looking for Shetland yarn, um, Plymouth yarns, Regia, Rowan, um, and there was one more. Oh, Rauma. Uh, Rauma? I don't know if that's how it's pronounced, but I've seen that on there a bunch, and I know that is also um, a pretty low-priced yarn. So they've got all of those, and then they've got some fancier brands. You know, they've got Amano, they've got Brooklyn Tweed, Farmer's Daughter's Fiber, um, Harrisville Designs, um, they've got Calborn Wollens, La Bien Me. So they've really got a nice blend, um, sort of fancy and more reasonably priced. Uh, they will they will wind your yarn for you um, for a little extra, as I recall. I usually don't do that. Um, because if, if you were not aware, um, winding your yarn puts it under tension. And so you shouldn't really do that until you're about ready to use it. Um, otherwise it can, it can just stretch your yarn out a little bit. And if you leave it that way for a long time, it can lose some of its elasticity. This public service announcement is over. Once or twice I have wanted to use that yarn right away. So I had them wind it for me. Um, it was completely a reasonable fee. And of course, let's see, they're in Illinois, I'm in Maryland, so that is pretty fast shipping, but they're kind of right in the middle of the country, so it should be pretty fast for pretty much everyone in the U.S. I don't know anything about the shop itself. It looks really cute. Um, they've got some really cute videos here. I've never been to, you know, whatever I said, part of Illinois, um, but if I'm ever there, maybe I'll have to check that out. Um, they've also got needles uh, if you need to stock up on that stuff. They just have a really nice... Um, a really nice interface for online shopping. And um, so you can shop by brand, you can shop by, shop by weight as well. Um, they've got patterns and kits and, and it looks like at their actual shop, they have some nice events as well. So that is a really good one for, especially for when you have a like a some different yarn needs that you want met at the same time. You need, you know, some cheaper stuff and you need some nicer stuff and you can just get it from all in one place. They can wind your yarn for you and just send it on its way. Um, and they've always done very quick shipping and great customer service. I've never had a problem with them. So check them out. That is my number three site, Wool and & Company. And of course, if you happen to live near whatever city I said, Illinois, I have to scroll all the way to the bottom of the page again to find out. South Elgin, Illinois. All right, it looks like it's about an hour outside of Chicago um, over to the west. So if you're ever in that neighborhood, maybe you want to check them out, Wool & Company. All right, my number two site, probably one you are familiar with, is Webs. Uh, inexplicably, their web address is yarn.com, not webs, <laughs> but yarn.com, which at least is very easy to remember. And they've got pretty much everything. Um, they have fancy yarn, they have cheaper yarn, they've got all kinds of brands, uh, they have frequent sales, frequent closeouts, and they also have volume discounts if you're if you're buying, um, you know, which is especially good when you are um, buying sweater quantities of yarn. You're going to get a discount for, uh, it's like 20% over X dollars and then 25% over Y dollars. Um, and then they also have, you know, a free, a free shipping threshold as well. So, um, they've got Barocco, Plymouth, Cascade, and then they've got Malabrigo and, um, the fiber company and, you know, sort of a little bit more upscale brands like that. And they have their own line of yarns and these are super reasonably priced, um, and come in a lot of different bases, depending on the kind of yarn you are looking for. So let's see, our yarns, Valley Yarns, it's called Valley Yarns. And it looks like they have 47 different bases. Um, I happen to have one here that I'm currently using for a project. So this is Valley Yarns Northfield. This is a blend of Merino wool, baby alpaca and silk. It's 124 yards a ball, Merino wool, alpaca silk, $5.59 a ball. Yeah, is this like the super fanciest yarn I've ever used? No, it is, it's very soft, uh, but it, the ply is a little, um, it's a little loose, so it can be a bit splitty. 
However, it knits up really nicely. In my baby bear suit, which is getting a second leg, here we go. Um, it knits nice and evenly. You can, you can see pretty, pretty even stitch definition all throughout here. $5.59 for merino wool alpaca and silk. It is an amazing deal. Um, so maybe a little bit of, of splittiness, but other than that, no problems. Um, now, of course, I haven't, I haven't used this yet, um, and I will not be using it. A baby will be using it. Um, it does have alpaca. Alpaca tends to pill. That really has nothing to do with, you can have the very nicest, best made alpaca yarn in the world, and it's still gonna pill. It's just the nature of the fiber. Um, but I haven't had any knots in the yarn. I haven't had any, um, like bare spots or anything. It's, it's been very nice quality. And of course I've used many of their yarns, um, since they started carrying their own yarn line. So this is going to be a really good chance to maybe try out some bases that maybe, um, could usually be outside of your budgetary constraints. Their own yarn line really has, um, some really nice blends for really, really pretty low prices. Um, and like I said, they do have frequent sales, frequent, um, they do get some closeouts sometimes. They have volume discounts. I don't remember what it is off the top of my head, but like I said, I think it's like 20% off this and 25% off that. The Webs discount, which is on all of their, they're not in-house yarns, is 20% off $60 or more, 25% off $120 or more. So when you are stocking up on your sweater quantities, you can either try their very, very low priced in-house brand, or you can try something else um, and still get a really great discount. So again, this is Webb's America's Yarn Store. Um, and they really got pretty much anything that, that you could want here. All right, and my last one, as you may have predicted, um, for budget yarns is Knit Picks. Um, again, I am an affiliate of Knit Picks, but that is because I, really like their yarns and wanted to become an affiliate for their yarns uh, and their products. Um, I've designed with them many times. Really just, there is, there's so many good things to say about Knit Picks. Now, almost like 99% of what they have is their own yarn. They do also carry um, one, I think, or maybe two of the lines from Kelborn Woolens. But other than that, it is all their own yarn. Um, and they really have everything. You know, they've got, they've got wools, they've got acrylics. Um, and I will not say that every single one of their yarns is a winner. Um, so I personally don't like Wool of the Andes. I don't find it soft enough for me. And I also don't think it's a worsted weight yarn. Um, I find it to be more of a DK weight and just a little too itchy for me. That's my own personal preference. But they have lots of yarns that I absolutely love. So um, Knit Picks, sometimes you, you gotta try some of the different yarns to really get a feel for what you like, but they have a lot of really great stuff in every weight, all the colors, patterns to go with them. Um, they've got their uh, free shipping, which I believe is over. Hmm. They have a free shipping deal today, February 29th, that I am recording this. And they got a new yarn I wanna try. Anyway. Um, when they don't have that, they have free shipping on orders over $65. I believe they do only ship in the U.S., um, but this has obviously been a very U.S.-centric uh, video anyway. <laughs> um, and so let's say you want to get, like I said, I'm not personally a fan of their Wool of the Andes, but if that is what you know you like, their Wool of the Andes worsted is a 50 grand skein for four bucks. Um, for me, if I'm going to go the... Um, kind of workhorse basic yarn route. Um, I prefer their Swish Worsted over their Wool of the Andes. It is um, a super wash, um, but I find it to be, um, you know, if you're choosing between the two of the, the, the more lower priced worsted weights, that's my, my personal preference. Um, then they also have some stuff that's a little bit more higher end. You know, they've got they definitely have your, your acrylics. They've got Mighty Stitch, which is an 80-20 acrylic, um, starting at 349. They've got, um, what's their other, Brava. Yeah, their Brava, which is their premium acrylic. That's four bucks a ball. Then they also have some nicer stuff. So at some point I wanna do a video about my favorite Knit Picks yarns, but I will tell you guys right now, my personal favorite yarns of theirs are their Simply Wool Worsted, 
which is um, eight to 10 bucks a, a hank, um, and their high desert worsted. And that is a pricier yarn that is, uh, looks like it's 18 to $20 a hank. Um, so that is if you really wanna get fancy. Um, and that is, you know, like I said, 18 to $20 for only 217 yards. So that is definitely uh, on the higher end of their pricing, but it is a really nice yarn. Um, and they really have such a nice variety of colors, of bases, of weights, of different fibers. I mean, all right, so this is my, my yarn shelf. Um, almost everything in this one is all knit picks. Um, this is knit picks. Um, this is knit picks. Um, these are knit picks. Um, and I think there's even, there's more down the bottom that are knit picks. Um, so they really have lots of great, of great stuff. And it's, especially if you were looking for, um, sweater yarn that you, you know, you don't want to break the bank for, they have a really, they have some nice bases that are pretty reasonably priced. Um, so like I said, they do have their, their higher end stuff. Their price range is really good. You know, it's, you know, probably it looks like the cheapest yarn is about cheapest yarn. I mean, I'm even seeing some here that are as low as $2 and 50 cents a ball and then up to the 20, $25 maybe for their really fancy sock yarn, um, which is still going to, to be, to be cheaper than your, um, indie dyed sock yarns. So they're, it looks like their most expensive hand painted sock yarn is $15. Um, so, you know, that's not super cheap, but it is definitely um, cheaper than some indie dyed, some yarns and sort of a similar, they've got uh, self-striping, everybody loves their Felici. Um, and then they've got, you know, variegated and speckled and, and they've just, they really have a great variety that is really gonna meet your needs no matter what it is that you want to be knitting or crocheting. This could absolutely be a, a video for crocheters as well because you know we all love yarn. Um, so that is my last one, my number one knit picks. They just, they really have a lot of everything. Um, they've got, you know, even their own tools and stuff and their needles. They are a really great place if you are looking, you wanna get a set of um, interchangeables but you're not ready to like invest in Chiagu's or, or um, the other one, its name I can't pronounce. I don't know if it's Lika or you're not ready to invest in those. They have their own interchangeables. Um, and I will say, you know, they're, um, is the quality as, as good as the Chowgo? Of course not, because it's like half the price, but it is a good place to start um, if that's something you are, are looking for. Um, shipping is, uh, you know, I mean, $65 is a pretty low threshold for the free shipping. Um, they are located in... Washington or Oregon? Must be Washington because Stacy's a Seattle Mariners fan. So they're way out in Washington. So if you're waiting for them over on the East Coast, yeah, it's going to take a little bit of time, but it is absolutely worth it. Uh, but those are my top five websites for shopping for budget yarns. Um, a lot of great options. You know, if you if you want to try to branch out from your Joann's or your Michaels, um, or maybe you have a good Joann's, I really don't. It's it's okay for fabric, but the yarn is terrible. Maybe you want to branch out from your acrylics. You're just not sure where to get started. Um, maybe you just you're looking for some deals. Maybe your financial situation has changed, and you know you used to spend uh, on the pricier brands, and now you're looking for some economical ideas. There you have it. Five places you can shop online for some very lovely yarns. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you found it useful in any way, I hope you will give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend who also loves yarn. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. New videos every Saturday about knitting and yarn and all things related. If you would like to support the channel and help me continue making uh, content here all about knitting, you can click the join button down below and just see what that is all about. And it is greatly appreciated. If you're looking for me on social media, you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Amelia Verawana. And I will see you next time. Bye. Farmer, farmer's daughter, I never get that right. Farmer's daughter fibers? Farmer's daughter's fiber? I don't know.